human metanumavirus. I'm going to talk to you about the symptoms, how the virus is spread. Also, number three, how to prevent getting infected with this virus. And number four, I'm going to discuss whether we have a vaccine for this virus and what the treatment is. Guys, I'm Dr. Jen. It's good to see you. I'm a practicing family physician. Starting with the symptoms. Many of the symptoms overlap with symptoms of, say, a cold. What are we talking about? We're talking about a cough, fever, nasal congestion or runny nose, even some shortness of breath. The symptoms can be either what we call upper respiratory tract symptoms, kind of up here, or lower respiratory tract symptoms. The thing about it is those symptoms that I mentioned can potentially progress into things like bronchitis or pneumonia. So it's really important. Now you have to remember that the, the length of a human metanumavirus infection typically is like the length of a typical respiratory virus. Okay. The incubation period of time is about three to six days. So please keep that in mind. Now let's talk about how you get or contract human metanumavirus. And of course, you've got to contract it from someone is, who is sick and has the virus. But uh, how does that happen? Number one, it can happen through secretions directly from that person who is sick. They're coughing and sneezing, and those particles can make you sick. Also, if somebody is sick who's touched you know, objects, etc., and you have contact with surfaces um, or touching that person or shaking someone else's hand, that can also cause the spread. I also mentioned objects and surfaces as well can uh, potentially facilitate transmission of a virus, the human metanuma virus. Okay. Next thing, let's talk about prevention. Probably one of the most important things here. All right. First thing, is hand washing. Look, don't blow off hand washing. And I'm not just talking about just hand washing. We're talking 20 seconds. Uh, soap and water. I need you to scrub not just the palms, but also the backs of your hands. I need you to get under your nails. I need you to get in between your fingers. Okay. Making sure you're doing that. Washing your hands after you go to the bathroom, before you prepare food, especially if you're around anyone who's sick. I say wash your hands after touching like light switches and things commonly touch surfaces. Wash those hands. The other thing is really minimize touching your eyes, your nose, and your mouth. Why? Because that can be a conduit for which uh, viruses and even potentially bacteria and other infectious agents can get into your body. Avoid that. Um, and the other thing too is, of course, avoid people who are sick. And I would argue, if you are sick, I need you to stay away from others, okay? Now let's talk about vaccines. Is there a vaccine? No, we do not have a vaccine against human metanumavirus. We do not, okay? That's not necessarily uncommon when it comes to viruses. We don't have a vaccine against the common cold and others, but no, we don't have a vaccine against human metanumavirus. Okay, that's the first thing. Do we have a medication treatment? We do not have an antiviral medication to treat this virus. Remember, human metanumavirus is a virus, okay? We don't have an antiviral that specifically targets this virus, all right? Uh, however, we do have medications that can help treat symptoms you may have uh, as a result of getting the virus. And that's one of the things that's really important. Guys, I hope this is helpful. Please uh, share this video with others. Let me know what you think in the comments. Um, please um, subscribe to my channel on YouTube. Follow me on Facebook. I'm on TikTok, Instagram, LinkedIn, WhatsApp, you name it, uh, threads. Please follow me there. Also, check out my free health newsletter at drjencoddle.com.